shoppers are battling in Russian supermarkets as sanctions begin to hit vital supplies triggering a wave of panic buying. One sugar rush was seen after a consignment was wheeled into the Peregraya stock store in the north of Moscow. People are fighting for sugar, said an onlooker. Pensioners are fighting. Anna, a local resident who filmed the noisy scuffle, told Podium Media that people behaved aggressively because they are spooked by empty shelves amid a potentially grave economic crisis triggered by punishing sanctions which have seen the ruble currency plunge in value. The Russian ruble has lost nearly 50% of its value since the start of 2022, with the currency falling off a financial cliff after Putin declared the war in Ukraine. There were empty shelves, no salt, no sugar, no pasta, no buckwheat, and only expensive rice, she said. People suddenly saw a cart with sugar and ran towards it. They attacked this cart, pushing each other away aggressively. They were grabbing as much as possible for themselves, not leaving sugar for the others. I wanted to share the horror of it. We must stay human. Another disturbing race for sugar was seen in Yule, 230 miles south of the capital. There is a rush of shoppers to grab bags of sugar before they sell out. In light of the Western sanctions over Vladimir Putin's war in Ukraine, Russian prosecutors have begun checks in 26 regions over the suspicion of artificially high prices. In Kiselevsk, Siberia a local said, there has been no sugar for three days. I've been trying to shop for it all this time. Do we ask for too much? No sugar, no salt, but empty shelves. What is this? An artificially created deficit? Wild people panic buying? Dot. Five hundred tons of sugar is expected to be delivered to the region shortly, said the local trade ministry. This amount should cover any possible shortfall. Despite this Russia has blocked exports of grain to ex-Soviet states and halted exports of both white and raw cane sugar to third countries. Some stores are rationing the amounts people can buy. There are no conditions for risks of a shortage or for a reduction in product range, insisted Deputy Prime Minister Victoria Abramchenko. It is not worth driving up artificial demand with purchases for the future. We will reorient the market and establish mutually profitable trade, expand our partnership network with friendly countries, 